guys from? Canada. All right, Canada, Missouri. All right, let's do this. Who's from Florida? Wow, a lot of people. All right, a bunch of world travelers here today. All right, what about from the rest of the U.S.? Where are you guys at? Here we go. Okay, see, so where are you guys from? Missouri, okay, and over here? South Carolina, very cool, very cool. What do you guys do for fun in South Carolina? You drink beer. <laughs> we do that here too. <laughs> right, who else from the US here? Let's see, where are you guys from? California, very cool, all right. Does it sound the same? Sounds a little better. You guys from New York? All right, who else from New York? Very cool, so I guess this is the New York section. Over here is where you guys are sitting. No. How does that sound better? Yeah. Sounds a lot better, man. A lot better. Get out of here, you're missing out. All right, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm from Florida. <laughs> We're going over that, man. It's like half the crowd here, bro. We're running a Florida discount, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? What time is it? It's probably time to start the show. Yeah. Is it time to start the show? All right, you guys ready for the show? Yeah! Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Ready? You guys want to see the show? Yeah! All right, now it's better. Right, what do so you want to do? Uh, I don't know. I can rope them up. Whatever. Yeah, that works. All right, I'll rope them up. The safety thing? Yeah, you give them the safety talk. All right, fine. You guys pay attention because this is the only show that does have a safety disclaimer. Uh, so this is how it goes. Guests and volunteers at the Uplus and Counter Show may come across animals that are very scared. Hurt for any group calls since I'm a rat's back to the front for anything right now. Danny, Danny, Danny. <laughs> what was that? It's a disclaimer. I'm not supposed to understand. <laughs> All right, how about this? Raise your hand if you're scared of stuff. All right, that works. Scared of stuff, raise your hand. All right. All right, cool. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> You found someone? I got someone, yeah. All right, perfect. All right, folks, so welcome to the Up Close Encounter Show. My name is Peter, and this is Danny. Everybody say hi, Danny. Hi. Hello. Hi, Danny. Oh. All right, so this show got started a pretty cool way. You see, we're Gatorland, we're a small animal park. Uh, so our animals come to us from all over the place. Sometimes it'll just be an animal that's wandered into somebody's backyard, or other times it's a pet that's overgrown its welcome. Either way, people will call us up and say, hey, Gator Lane, can you come and get this thing? And we would always say yes. Until the word came out that we were saying yes, people stopped asking us all together. Uh, we would just show up in the morning and there'd be a pile of boxes like this one up at the front by the Gator Mouth. And we can't just leave those animals in there, so it's our job in entertainment to go through the boxes and find out what's inside of them. And one morning, Danny came in a bit early to open up the boxes. He was a bit distracted, though, because he was up late the night before at a Justin Bieber concert. Uh, but he reached inside of the box and he got bit. It was a pretty bad bite, and he... You lost a finger? No, not really. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't let him fool you. Look, it was a mean bunny rabbit, but he played up the bite, and the boss let him go home for about a week. And he said, no more opening up the boxes and bags. You guys can see, they just kept on coming. When Danny got back from his one-week vacation, he had a great idea. He thought, look, guys, we can't open up the boxes, so let's bring them into the park and give them to the audience. That way it's safe. I know. Yeah, so now he's ready for a show. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> He doesn't have a box. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, you want to start it off? Uh, you know what? I did that whole speech there, and I'm out of my breath, so I need you to do the box. You go first. You talked for like two minutes. I ran to the top of the stairs, though. All right, fine. You know what? I'll start it off. She looks excited anyway, over here. Hello. What's your name? Lindsay. Lindsay. Everyone say hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Lindsay, where are you from? Virginia. Okay, cool. So what's going to happen is I'm going to open up the box, you're going to reach inside, grab the animal. If it has a net, grab it behind the neck, and then walk around the show everyone. Sound good? Are you afraid of any animals at all? No. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> hey. Never mind, Lindsay. No, Lindsay's oh, supposed to reach in the box. I don't know if she can. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> look at this thing. It can't be that bad. Yep, there's two of them. There's two of them in there? Ooh, so there's, there's two of them. <laughs> I told you. We'll skip it. We can just do my No, box. we're not going to skip it. What do you want to do? They want to see what's inside. Really? You guys want to see what's inside? Yeah! See? I told you. Let's do this together. All right. Teamwork. Teamwork. Okay, you take it out. I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> no, how about you take it out and I'll talk about it? I'll talk about you take it out. Fine. That's what I said. No! <laughs> it's not, look. It's not going to work. It's not my box. It's not my box. Oh, that's because... It's Lindsay's box! Go on down here, Lindsay! Yeah, Lindsay! Our first victim! The volunteer. Same thing. All right, you know what? Look. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna man up and do this, Lindsay. All right, I'm gonna man up, take this thing out. You go with Peter. He's gonna make you safe. Wait, make sure you got safe from that. Yeah, safe from this. You feel safe? Sure. <laughs> okay. You know what, Lindsay? We're gonna get even safer here. Come on over. 
want you to stand in this circle for me. Just go ahead and get in there. It is, is. It is. It's a circle of safety. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. All right, so look, Lindsay, you just want to stay in here and then face this way. And uh, put your hands out to hold the animal. Actually, which hand do you write with? Right hand? Okay, put that one down in case you need it later in life, you know? All right, so just leave the hand out and then close your eyes. Danny's going to hold up some cue cards. You're going to hear some oohs and ahs. The crowd's going to go a little bit crazy here, but it's nothing. Relax. Just close your eyes. You'll be fine. Oh, don't listen to Lindsay. They're going to be fine. You're doing great. Look, Lindsay, I'm not going to lie to you, though. You are going to feel something kind of creepy in your hand. It's just me, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, you ready? Check it out. She's got it. Give it up for Lindsay. She's doing it. Look at that. Hey, uh. High five. Don't mess up. What's wrong with you? Hey, it's not that bad, right? They only bite when you, like, poke around like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Give it up for Lindsay. She did amazing. Nice job, Lindsay. Nice job, Lindsay. Nice job. So what was she holding? A tarantula, right? This is a Chilean rosy hair tarantula. It is a spider, which means that it's how many legs? Eight legs, right? All spiders have eight legs. All spiders have something else, too. It starts with the letter V. What is that? Venom. These things are venomous. Now, you're probably wondering why I just put some venomous in Lindsay's hand. It's because I don't know her, so I don't care. But I'm only kidding. If this was a bite anyone, it won't do much. It won't put us in the hospital. It's not going to kill us. The worst it can do is make our hand itch. Their venom is actually less than a bee sting. That's why we use them here in shows. That's why you see them in a lot of movies for high-paid actors. They try to use some of that big and scary that, as you can see, no one really likes. They are not going to use something though that's going to hurt their actors because they do pay them a lot of money. Now, I know this thing does look uh, really cool. You can actually buy these things in pet stores. All right? They sell them for like 15, 20 bucks. You can take it home and scare people with them. It's pretty fun. Where they come from, though, people don't have these things as pets. They actually eat them. Yeah, what do you think something like this tastes like? Chicken? Chicken. What kind of chicken are you guys eating? No. <laughs> they actually say if you squeeze the ears out into a frying pan and fry it up, it tastes something like scrambled eggs. What do you mean, ew? Who likes scrambled eggs? All right, here, dude, take a bite. Let me know. Oh, oh no, no, no. Hey, 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 wait, you can't. Wait, he's gonna Stop eat it. it. No, you can't feed a tarantula to our guests. Put these things away. Ten, Stop. Ten bucks, dude. No, dude, you can't bribe right, the guests. Right, put them away, away, man. All right. All right, let's give volunteer one more round of applause here. You did a great job, Lindsay. And we'll head on over to my box. How are you? You're okay. What's your name? Christy. Everybody say hi, Christy. Hi, Christy. Alright, everybody say bye, Christy. Bye, Christy. <laughs> I'm just joking. Look, um, but I was hearing this box move around, so this animal's probably aggressive. So when you grab it, pin it behind the neck. You want to move Actually, it really hey, fast. Wait, you Peter, want to make sure. Don't why? do that there. Why not? Look at all the kids around the box. <laughs> not my kids. I remember, Christy. Peter, hey. Hey. You want to move really fast. What is here. wrong with you? What? Dude, they're someone's kids. All right, fine. Look, just stay right here, Lindsay. We're gonna do a judge. I'm sorry, Lindsay. Christy. We'll do a judgment call, and uh, if there's something cute and cuddly in the box, we'll bring you down here to hold it, okay? If there's something scaly and disgusting, we'll drag you down here to hold it. <laughs> so, where are you from, Christy? Where are you from? From Florida, from here, okay. Uh, do you have any animal experience? Kind of. There's like a goldfish. <laughs> uh, I guess there's probably not a goldfish in here. Alright, come on down. No, 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 Christy, stay right there. She can't, she can't hold this. Let me get a different kind of help from that. Lindsay, come on, girl. No, on. not Lindsay either. Look, not human help. We need these. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's funny, when you bring these things out, everybody whispers, you just say, it's Duh. <laughs> Seriously, what else do you catch with a big metal hook? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. What are you doing? I thought you liked cats. Oh, I love cats. They taste like chicken. That is cool. Alright, so look. Um, you know what? Before I open this thing up, the circle of safety worked out well. So folks, I'm going to draw something else for you. Watch your feet, okay? This is the line of death. You cross the line, you're dead. Uh, but if you trip and fall over the line, or if a family member pushes you over the line, remember the circle of safety. Right there. <laughs> they bought it. No, they did it. Take a look. I know you've seen one of these before, right? Oh, dude? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Uh, nope, not yet. Wait. Alright, go for it. What is that? It's my corner of safety. Like a force field. It's like a rainbow. 
<laughs> Looks like your bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> to rental. To rental. <laughs> Seriously, come on, man. You gotta pick this thing up? Okay. You need the setup, I'll throw it. I might need it. Just give me a second. I'm gonna give it one more shot here. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> it was stuck in the corner, guys. <laughs> Anybody know what this is? Moccasin. That's exactly right. This is a moccasin. Now the moccasin has two names. What's the other name for the water moccasin? The cottonmouth. That's exactly right. The water moccasin or the Florida cottonmouth. Now with a name like water moccasin, where do you find this name? Water. Near the water. That's right. So what do they eat? Moccasins. Moccasins? <laughs> no, not moccasins. But like you said, you're right. They eat everything. They eat fish. They eat turtles, they eat birds, they eat other snakes, they'll eat baby alligators. One of our co-workers even has video of one of these guys in the middle of the night climbing up onto the street and using its face to scrape roadkill off the ground and then eating that. So because of that, you find cottonmouths in pretty much every type of habitat here in Florida. Their camouflage is very dark, so it allows them to hide very well in that habitat. And when I speak of habitat, I even include this place, Gatorland, has cottonmouths. Uh, we find them in the back parking lot where we park, sometimes crossing the train tracks in the morning. Danny actually caught this one here. It was just last week under the bleachers, right there. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> no, but look, guys, they're everywhere. And they're very small when they're young like this, and they're very dark, so a lot of people don't see them, and they step near them or they step on top of them. What's going to happen when you do that? It's going to bite you. That's exactly right. Now, where's the snake this small going to bite you? In the ankle, the foot, right, somewhere down low. So with that being said, what's the worst type of footwear to wear in Florida where cotton mounts are everywhere? <laughs> sandals and flip-flops, that's right. So I want you to raise your hand if you're wearing sandals or flip-flops. Yeah, you're all gonna die. <laughs> no, I'm not. What? what are you doing? You can't tell them that. What do you mean? Why not? They're trying to have fun today. They're on vacation. They're on vacation? Okay. Enjoy the gift shop before you die. <laughs> There's other shoes in there. What is wrong with that? No, it's not better. Put a little warm to death on Alright, fine. We'll put them no away. No one's impressed. Let's do, uh, let's do a bear box. Yeah. Yeah, let's do, um... Uh, let's do the England box. Yeah. Yeah, who's here from England? Anyone? Oh look, a couple in front. What's scary over there in England? The people. The people. <laughs> I hope you're from England. <laughs> Wait, I think I know what he means. What? Like One Direction, dude. That's, that's pretty scary people from England. That's a little different. <laughs> All right, let's just try to open it up. Hopefully, it's not a whole bunch of people stuff. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Oh, what? Yeah, that's not from England. Uh, yeah, it is. Look, it says England on the front of the box. Look, E N. I know. I can read. It's just cool. It's just not from England. What do you? I need these again. Okay. Right. Is that bad? Yeah. Can you uh? Can you back me up? Yeah. Yeah, I can back you up. Oh, yeah. 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 If anything happens, I'll back me up. Thank you. You know what? Look, that line is just full effect right now. Okay. Make sure you guys don't cross it. And you have to do this right, because this stupid thing never worked. Sorry, Lindsay. It worked? Yeah, it works fine for Lindsay. Alright, let's see if we can get him out. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. Alright, so does anyone know what this is? Who said that? Eastern Diamondback. Next time, dude, you just want yourself a free steak. <laughs> He's right, though. This is an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. Uh, one of the largest venomous snakes you'll find. I think the record is like eight feet. So they're huge snakes. He does have that rattle back there. What do you guys think that rattle's for? To warn you. To warn you. what we used to think. That's actually where he stores his venom. He has to shake well before use. <laughs> 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 so dumb. Like the medicine. That was a good one. All right, no, you know the right. It's just a warning. He actually stores the venom up here in these fucking little cheeks. And he does have a lot of pa uh, patterns on his back that look like diamonds. Which is really cool for us, but it helps him out a lot. It helps him blend in with the brush on the ground. So they're very hard to spot out. People will find them though. And when they see them, they think that they're aggressive. They think that they're going to hunt them down in packs and kill them by the thousands and hit them over the head with nunchucks and steal their Facebook password. <laughs> Look how aggressive he is. No snake is aggressive. They're all defensive. Which means the only way you're getting bit by something this dangerous is exactly what Peter said. If you're walking around, you don't see them, you accidentally step on them. Uh, or if you're just doing something really stupid. Yeah. Show him, Peter. What? Show him, Peter. <laughs> no. Come Show on. Show him something smart. Wait, just 
Like, 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 like the kiss, kiss of death or something. The kiss of death is with a cobra. This thing would just bite oh. me in the face. All right, look. Fine. Here, give me the hook. And I'll yeah, here. Go ahead. Grab the hook. I'm not grab this other one. What is wrong with you? Here you go. Give me the hook. <laughs> <Here. laughs> there you go. Awesome. A beautiful diamond back there. Let's give that diamond back a round of applause. Awesome. Explore to you. And uh, folks, we have time for another box. You want to see one more? Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave it up to them, Danny. Whatever box you want, just shout it out. India. India. All right. So I heard that one first. Raise your hands for India. Let's everybody picks the biggest Africa. box. Is that right? Okay. What about Africa? Africa. South Korea. Not a soul. <laughs> what about uh, live animals? Live animals? And venomous. Let's see India again. Everybody goes through. Okay, all right. Ow! Oh! I got a splinter. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the diamond back? Well, he's in the box. Can you suck this out? Let me see that. Look, I hit it, man. You can't mess around with a venomous snake. Suck it up. He's in the box. What makes a whole park in the wood? <laughs> Come on, dude. Just get over here. Holy cow. What is it? It's a cow. <laughs> we'll put your sister in the box. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What'd you just say? What? I didn't say anything. I heard you say something. I said your sister's a fox. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah. That's, I don't know, dude. That's weird that you would say that, though. Why? Have you ever seen my sister? I've never seen your sister, no. Oh. Yeah, she's a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, pick this thing up. Oh, okay. Absolutely not. Why not? Woo. What do you mean, why not? Just pick it up. No, I can't. I got a splinter. But I'm not touching that thing. All right, well, then let's just get some help. You know what? Let's get some big kid help. All right, we need a six foot five year old or a seven foot eight year old. No, I don't think, kids here? I don't think you got what I meant. That's not what I meant. I meant like an adult, but a kid at heart, like like us, you know? Oh, okay, okay, right. like an adult. Perfect example. I actually have a friend here today. Do you mind if I use my friend? Yeah, you can use your friend. You guys good friends? Yeah, we're really good friends, actually. We go way back. Yeah, how far back? We go back all the way to the second box. Come on, Jab Crispy. Yeah, come she on. Yeah. That way. All right, so look, head on down there to the venomous box. She's going to need some help, though. So why don't we, I'll pick out a guy, and you pick out a guy and a girl. All right, we're going to get that. Right. Let's, uh, right down the way. Yes, come on down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I got a girl. I need a guy, you said? Right yeah, a guy and a girl. All right, who's going to help now? Let's see. Who's going to help? That guy right there? Yeah, you got that ball to the whole family. Give us a kid and get down here. All right, so look, I want you to stand girl, boy, boy, girl. Girl, boy, boy, girl. There you go. Oh, a light? There you go, switch. Unless we need to know something. There we go. All right, scoot closer together this way. Very good. Thought you got away, right? Well, look, you didn't. So here, I have a coin. Just call it your tails. Uh oh, I guess. Yeah, that's bad for you, sorry. Okay, you guys put your hands up like this. Hands up. And face forward, okay? No cheating. Don't look back. And if they look back, you guys all yell out cheaters, alright? Okay, let's practice. Ready? One, two, three. Cheater! Yeah. Hey, Peter. Yeah. See the guy I picked out right there in the tan shirt? Yeah. 20 bucks and you run the screen, my little girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's thinking? What? I wish I wore my running shorts today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look, while you're messing around over there, I pinned this thing down. Alright, you got him? Yeah, but look, that's a beak, right? Oh, okay, yeah. You want to take that? Yeah, that's really sharp, though. I think we should pick up that sharp. Alright, well, you take the beak and I'll. What are these? Those are feathers, but look, if you pull them back, there's a couple of tentacles. Just make sure you don't touch the blue one. <laughs> What's the blue one do? It'll make it pregnant. <laughs> that's not a tentacle. <laughs> Alright, so are they cheating? No! How about now? No! And now? No. Alright, just give us a second, it's stuck in the water.
United States. Right. A python, that's right. This is actually an albino Burmese python. The Burmese python is the third largest snake in the entire world. This is an adult female, but she's not full grown. They can over, I'm sorry, they can grow over 18 feet long with a weight of up to 350 pounds. So they get really big, and they do that by eating a lot of food. Now this snake is a constrictor, which means two things. It doesn't have any venom, uh, and it means it has to grab onto all its food with its mouth, suffocate it, and then swallow it whole. So if you're looking at this snake's head, you might think that it eats a lot of small food items, but that's not true. Snakes can actually separate their jaws. This snake can open its mouth to be about five to ten times the size of its own head. So something Wait, like that, that big. Can he eat something this big? Yeah, like that big. That is crazy. Can we buy that baby for a second? Oh, no, oh, it's not that kind of show, baby. Stop. Look, look, size size all of snake. look forward to that camera oh. right there and smile. And let's give it up for our volunteers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.